and milk powder and we blend that together with some stabilizer and we pasteurize it and pump it down to this plant. Where yes, we saw this huge uh, pipe coming from the milk plant right here to the ice cream plant that's behind us, then into some holding tanks. Where from there? From there, it's held overnight and aged. It helps, helps the mix become thicker and freeze better. That's not a process that everyone does, but we really think it helps our ice cream. And one of those secrets of the quality of Smith's ice cream. Then you said, Ed, we're going to show you the flavor vats. Okay, the flavor vats are where we add the various flavors, vanilla or strawberry. Have to ask you, I've put on the airways over the years, vanilla remains to be the most popular. Is it at Smith's Dairy in Orville, Ohio? It is. Vanilla it really is. is the most popular. And then what would be? Uh, probably butter pecan, chocolate. And um, then from the flavor vats to one big ice cream freezer. Yes. The ice cream freezer is a continuous freezer, and it'll freeze 1,200 gallons of ice cream an hour. And it runs, we run that freezer anywhere from 12 to 14 hours a day. Just keep her running. But if we could look inside, and we couldn't do that with the camera, would we see the old wooden paddles in there as we have in the hand ice cream freezer? No, you'd see, you'd see stainless steel blades that cut the ice crystals away from the outside of the canister. And outside of the canister, we have ammonia refrigerant that is expanding and providing the refrigeration to freeze the ice cream. It would be very similar if you laid your home freezer on its side and added a lot more ice and salt and you pumped it in one end and it came out the other end semi-solid. And so from there, it's time to package. First of all, let's look at the larger, I think, what, three gallon uh, units? Yes, we, we package, especially in the summertime, many, many three gallon containers of ice cream. We didn't, it seems like we can barely keep up with demand. Everybody likes a dipped ice cream cone. Three, different uh, qualities of ice cream from Smith Dairy? Yes, we have, uh, we have what we call our premium ice cream, which is our Ruggles line, a mid-range ice cream that is very high quality, the Smith's label, and then we have supermarket grades. So what makes the difference in the grades, uh, Carl? The difference in the grades would be the amount, the amount and type of ingredients, basically. Uh, a supermarket grade or basically vanilla flavors, maybe uh, chocolate ripple flavors, where your premium grades are butter pecan, uh, maple nut. But like on this. all the grades of Smith Dairy, they're going to see the real seal, aren't they? They will see the real seal, and, and I think uh, what separates Smith Dairy from a lot of other dairies is the craftsmanship of our, of our employees. I believe that. How many employees total? Uh, the whole company would be 250 employees. So, how much ice cream are you putting out in a day's time? We put out approximately 20,000 gallons of ice cream in a day's time in containers ranging from half gallons, pints, quarts, ice cream sandwiches, three gallon cans, or five quart pails. And it's all right here. Now, Steve, we went inside and right behind us is the largest uh, warehouse that's a, how cold is it in there? I mean, it was we, cold when we were in there. We keep it 20, 20 degrees below zero. It, we got to keep it cold so that we can store the ice cream a good long time. And at, at that temperature, ice cream state, uh, will maintain its consistency almost indefinitely. And a u unique way of how you store it in there. Yeah, we store it on, uh, I, I guess, just stacks of pallets, uh, seven, uh, seven pallets high anyway, up, 50 foot, up to 50 feet in the air. So, we're here at the peak season. Right. Would ice cream sales drop, what, to half by winter time? In the winter, they drop in about half. I guess our production falls almost to half from our lowest week in the winter to the, uh, compared to our highest weeks in the summer. How large is your marketing area? We basically serve uh, north central Ohio. We go down south, uh, a little further south than Columbus, up to Cleveland, Toledo. Um, basically northern Ohio. Then we'll we do ship some ice cream uh, into New York and a little into Indiana, Indiana and uh, a few neighboring states like that. Steve Smith, president of Smith Dairy, and also Carl Kelby. He's the guy that runs the ice cream plant. It's July, National Ice Cream Month. Don't forget, it's the favorite dessert.
of all we Americans. Hope to stay with us, Rod McKendry, who is in 